allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gentlemen, any additions or deletions the agenda? Commissioners, I do have an addition for you this evening. I'd like to add uh, an item to the consent agenda. That's uh, a Barry Plastics Hold Harmless Agreement, Indemnity Agreement, and Tax Payment Agreement. Uh, essentially a closing document necessary to get them towards closing. If you recall, we previously uh, had... Uh, you, you previously had uh, agreed to uh, transfer their property to them. They purchased their property. These are just some documents necessary to get us to closing. Okay. S sir, I'd like to make a motion we add item 15 then to the consent agenda. Is there a second? Second. On favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that'll be added as item 15 to consent. Okay, is there a motion approving minutes from last public business meeting? So moved. Second. On favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Into our presentations tonight, this is Economic Development Week 2021. We have uh, Mr. Jeff Barclay is our uh, Director of Economic Development, and Mr. Nathan Price is our uh, Project Manager. Gentlemen. Yes. Thank you, Commissioners. Um, and thank you for allowing this opportunity for Nathan and I to highlight the importance of economic development in Allegheny County, and that's it's Maryland Economic Development Week next week, and that's what many communities in the state are doing here, uh, are doing you know, just prior to Economic Development Week, and it's, uh, it is, it's very important um, to the success of, our, of the county. And um, we did want to just quickly, just do a real short um, presentation. Yeah, not long at all. Just to kind of, we they always say that a picture's worth a thousand words. <clears throat> yeah, much better. Thank you. So, economic development, expansion, things, projects that are happening in the county. Go ahead, Nathan. So up at our Frostburg Industrial Park, uh, there is new construction. Uh, Webstrant is expanding next to the current Sierra Hygiene location. Um, they're looking to add over 20 plus jobs in the next uh, next two years. Um, so you can see that the foundations are being you know, poured there. I do believe we have another picture as well. Yeah, so and we were. Uh, yeah, the county has partnered with them. Uh, they came in and acquired Sierra. They had a lot. Of, they were a big customer of Sierra, so they th saw the opportunity to just cut the middleman out, come in there, purchase them and their 32,000 square foot building, and and then we worked with them on getting some additional property so they could basically double the size of that building, and uh, they'll keep the 12 employees that's there and probably add another 24 over the next three years or so. As you can see, it's coming up nicely, starting to come up vertical out of the ground and yeah there's the Duncan location there in the Vale uh, next to Ollie's is well on its way this was about what a week ago it's about a week and a half ago yeah. and so now I mean there's been a lot more um, work that's being done out there with, with the exterior and I guess what you can't see is the the interior is really coming along with the, the steel well they ripped everything out of there there was no you couldn't recognize it, right, as a bank. It looks a lot bigger inside. Yeah. Professional photographer, I'm not, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah. They are shooting for a, a November 22nd opening date. So that's Good. a great, great retail opportunity. Yeah, course. and they are, they're a new, a newly, uh, are new to the chamber, chamber of commerce member. And so I'm sure they're gonna be a ribbon cutting in the next month. Yep. Okay, and then the, the third one we were, and this is a building that we're, we're really proud of Berkeley Springs Instruments. This is also in the Frostburg Industrial Park. Um, this has been in, in, in the works for a while. The building looks fantastic. Uh, we are hoping to have them start to move in here in the first uh, week or so of November. Um, this is an existing uh, business that's located in Allegheny County, and they're going to be moving to uh, Frostburg. 
So this was a great, you know, uh, our public works team has been great uh, to work with for this uh, project, and it's been a total team team effort. And um, you know, Berkeley Springs Instruments is they're thrilled with uh, how the county has worked with them, and they're very excited about uh, this opportunity. Yeah, they're a high tech company. It's it's the kind of company that we should uh, try to get to expand and enhance and. And they're doing that, and uh, they may even be adding additional components to the business, like the, they used to do robotics and such, and and so they're, we're hopeful that they'll uh, bring that back uh, and uh, and work with Frostburg State University as well. <coughs> there you go. Great. Thank you, gentlemen, and thank many you, guys. More, many more to come. That's right. A lot of good stuff yes. going on. We do have a short proclamation. If you'd like to come up, we'll uh, present it. Department of Economic Community Development is an active member of the Maryland Economic Development Association. In partnership with MEDA, the DECD works to enhance the business climate in Allegheny County, Maryland. The DECD works to retain and grow existing businesses and to attract new entities as well as workforce development initiatives. These actions lead to an increase in the tax base and enhance the quality of life in Allegheny County, Maryland. Webstaurant store and e-commerce restaurant supplied uh, Distributor is an example of economic development in Allegheny County, Maryland this year. Websterant, located in a 525,000 square foot building in the North Branch Industrial Park in January 2015, now employing 415 employees. Websterant acquired Sierra Hygiene in April 21 at the uh, Frostburg Business Park and is partnering with Allegheny County, Maryland to expand the facility, leading to growth and employment and production. Therefore, we, the Board of County Commissioners of Allegheny County, Maryland, proclaim this week, October 25th through 29th, 2021, as Economic Development Week, and that's signed the 21st day of October 2021, Creed Brody, Dave Caparelli, Jake Shea. Congratulations. Buddy, Thanks. congratulations. Thanks. Sir, Thank you, Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. All right, gentlemen, our action agenda tonight is short, but it's very important. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce item number two. This is the establishment of uh, Department of Planning and Zoning, and uh, item three will relate to that. But first, uh, Administrator Bennett. Thank you, Commissioner. So. As you mentioned, Resolution 21-21 is just to formally announce the establishment or the renaming of the Department of Planning and Zoning. Um, it had been named uh, in Allegheny County government officially Department of Planning and Growth. And as you'll hear more in a couple of minutes, we're sort of reorganizing a little bit, um, retooling, and we thought it was the right time to sort of rename too and almost go, go back to the way it, it, it was years ago. Um, so now it's going to be the Department of Planning and Zoning, officially. So as long as you guys approve this tonight, um, the letterhead, website, everything will be updated um, probably tomorrow, to be honest. Um, and already Yeah. yeah. And, and Jim Squires is here. Jim, if you want to start talking about it, by all means, go ahead, or we can move to item well, well, three. Let's get, let's get item two, and then we'll go item three. Is there a motion on item two? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Okay. So, so item three is our uh, Allegheny County direct, new director of the Department of Planning and Zoning, Administrator Bennett, please. So, so thank you, Commissioners. Um, happy to announce tonight um, as part of renaming everything, we, we also now have a new uh, director we'd like to have you guys ratified tonight. Um, it, you guys certainly know Jim Squires. Jim's been with the county for 33 years. I got that right, didn't I, Jim? Um, 
He's a graduate of Frostburg State University. He's worked in multiple roles here, here in the county, all within planning and permits. Um, most recently, and for the longest term, is Land Development Services Chief. And for the past several months, he's been our, our interim director. So tonight, we're just, we're happy to make Jim official, make him the director. Um, he's already been in working pretty hard over the last few months to retool his department. There's been some staffing changes. He's got new staff on board to help out, and, and uh, they're gearing up to be full service for the county to expedite the planning and zoning process. So, so with that, I'm happy to let Jim say a few words. Jim, please. Thank you. So Jason started this, and basically back in, well, when I started in 1988, I started with the, what was known as the Allegheny County Planning and Zoning Commission, which effectively was the Allegheny County uh, Department of Planning and Zoning. And then around 1994, uh, things changed there. Instead of reworking business models, uh, I guess they figured name changes. And so my operation, elements thereof, went through several department name changes and also uh, elements of our operation were also involved with uh, the Department of Public Works for a little while, then went back to the Department of Planning and Growth, and now here we are today. So we have lost a lot of staffing through attrition. Also, uh, people left. And so we were down to bare bones. We're basically down to about three feet. And so with, with Jason, when he became the acting administrator then became the administrator we started working to try to build things back up bring people in so we've been working behind the scenes to uh, gear back up and to get everything um, back in order so the offices underneath of this department uh, essentially are uh, the office of building safety which addresses your building codes the Office of Code Enforcement, which is still, we have a vacancy there now across the board. They do the enforcement of just the general complaints, anything to do with uh, permitting, uh, the salvage yard licensing, unsafe structures, uh, nuisance violations. And we are now currently working on uh, the um, those jobs have now closed. There are candidates interviews are believed to start next week. So hopefully we're going to get that restaffed. Uh, another office under our department is the, uh, uh, it's GIS for short, but Geographic Information Systems and Data Management. Uh, we also have the Office of Permits and Licensing, uh, the Office of Planning, and the Office of Zoning Administration and Land Use. So generally we've got six offices under this department one of them is not staffed at this point, and some of them are below staffing, but we're, we're going to make do until uh, we get things squared away. So is there any questions that you might have about what's going on? Jim, thank you for your leadership and stepping up. Yeah, thank this, you for your support over the years as well. During this time of COVID, and um, I know we're also talking about a uh, technology upgrade within sure. the, within the department and I think we saw a lot of success when uh, when the tax system went there and I think that can make everything more efficient and uh, but congratulations Jim thank you for your dedication to Allegheny County for since before I was born uh, <laughs> so you had to uh, go there. <laughs> absolutely Commissioner Caprelli nothing to add just uh, thank you for everything Jim and you know we support you and moving the uh, department forward anything yes. we can do thank you sir Thank you. Congratulations, sirs. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you, Commissioner. It, this has been long overdue, and we couldn't be prouder. So. Thank is that, you. Is that a motion? It is, sir. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations. Jim. Thanks, Jim. Uh, moving on to our consent agenda tonight, Administrator Bennett. So the commissioner's now on 12 items on the consent agenda. Um, item four is the Route 36 waterline replacement contract uh, being awarded to First Fruits Excavating in the amount of $122,930. Item five is resolution 21-22, an amendment to the rules and regulations of Allegheny County employees. Item six is the Local Management Board of Allegheny County uh, Board Appointment of Kirsten O'Donnell, our Chief Accountant in Finance, uh, to serve on their, their Board of Directors. 
Item seven is the Potomac Highlands Airport Authority to reappoint Brian Brinsfield from Cumberland, Maryland to the authority uh, with a term to expire June 30, 2024. Item eight is the Allegheny County Board of Zoning Appeals reappointments of both Mark Ferris and John Brandt, um, and their terms will expire September 25th, 2024. Item nine is the purchase of an uh, ambulance for e the EMS division um, from uh, Lifeline Emergency Vehicles in the amount of $295,436 funded from our operating budget. Item 10 is the 2021 Emergency Management Performance Grant uh, from ARPA funds passed through uh, MEMA in the amount of $23,622 um, and also $47,244. Item 11 is another um, Emergency Management Grant also passed through MEMA um, with ARPA funds in the amount of $82,818. Item 12 is the federal fiscal year 2021 state homeland security grant program in the amount of $111,111. Item 13 is the 2021-2022 uh, hazardous materials emergency preparedness grant in the amount of $12,000 from MEMA. Item 14 is the 2022 uh, Visit Mountain Maryland Destination Guide re uh, request for proposals. And item 15 that you added is the very plastics hold harmless indemnity and tax payment agreement. Great. Gentlemen, any discussion? No, sir. No, sir. Motion. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Okay. Administrator Bennett. Um, just w one more time, congratulate Jim Squires and thank him for his work and congratulate Jeff and Nathan for their work. And I don't want to leave out Adam because he's sitting there. So <laughs> thanks for your work too, Adam. Adam's got big shoes to fill for all one Paul. So yeah. Let's do another round of applause for Paul Kale, former. Yeah, yeah, one more time. They one more for it. the road. There we go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Attorney Beeman. Thank you, Commissioner. I'd also like to join uh, in congratulating Jim. Jim, I won't point out that there's another one of us here who your career has outlasted uh, their life, but. Congratulations, Jim. It's, it's been a pleasure working with you. Uh, and commission, Commissioners, Jim has done a great job. We, we heard some praises last meeting about uh, how, how great our uh, planning department was and our economic development, how great they were getting things moving. Jim's done a great job of streamlining that process through permits to keep things moving and, and get things taken care of. So congratulations mm -hmm. to him for that. Cool. Commissioner Sir, Caparelli? I didn't have anything to add this evening, no. Uh, Jim, congratulations. Uh, <clears throat> it, it's, it's good to see you finally get there. I mean, you've helped me out numerous, numerous, numerous times over the years uh, with the, the other great directors that the county has. Just lots of good things to follow, so thank you very much. Very yeah. Way back. Yeah, I wish I could say that I you was here longer than I was born, but I can't quite say make that statement. So. They got to rub it in, you know. It's just yeah. <laughs> Sir, the floor is yours. Turn it over to Mr. President. A quick restroom break. <laughs> Understood. Dave, did you get? Yeah, we all went. Yep. All right, speak now or forever hold your peace, um, gentlemen. I I don't really like to opine on things that aren't focus solely on Allegheny County government, but I'll tell you, um, something came to my attention today that I was not aware of. I don't think either of you were aware of either. Um, I know Garrett County wasn't aware of, and that's an effort to, uh, to leave the state of Maryland, to uh, attempt to secede, to join West Virginia. Apparently there's been uh, a certain delegate that's running for Senate has met with the West Virginia Speaker of the House to discuss this without talking to anyone. And so, you know, as we're focused on trying to keep schools open, quarantine stuff, there's so many issues that we're dealing with. The economic development we went through tonight, broadband, and to have this distraction, to have something that isn't going to happen because it has to pass the United States Congress. And so I, 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 question, I, I question why 
I, I question who thought this was a good idea. Um, you, you know, it, 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 when we talk about all oh, these things don't matter, they do matter. They matter how the rest of the state of Maryland views us. They matter because when you go to Annapolis and you try to ask for things, are they going to give it to someone who doesn't want to be in the state of Maryland? Does that make any sense? Would you give something to someone who doesn't want to be in the state of Maryland? No, you don't. It doesn't make any sense. And if you don't want to do the job, if you don't want to do the job in the state of Maryland, just move. Go to West Virginia, right across the river. You can run for office there. If you don't think you can do the job in Maryland, go somewhere else. I don't agree with all the laws of the state of Maryland. I don't think anyone up here does, but that's not the way you do it. I don't agree with all the laws in the United States of America, but guess what? We have a system, and that's how the system works. And so we can talk about non-binding referendums and, you know, we're going to do little cute things and talk to West Virginia. It makes us look dumb, it makes us look stupid, and it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for every single person in this room because the people who are pushing it know. They know it's not going to happen, and they're doing it anyway. So I really take offense to it. It, it, it would be one thing if we weren't still in the middle of a pandemic, if we didn't have hundreds of kids getting put out even though they're wearing masks. We're trying to talk to the state superintendent about what, what the rules are going to be. People don't know about uh, winter sports, whether they got to wear masks up and down the basketball court. I mean, th these are the things that local government should be involved in. We got $13 million of ARPA funding we're trying to deal with, and, and we're doing some vanity project to try to join the state of West Virginia? Give me a break. Give me a break. And without telling any county government that's affected, or any city government, I mean, we'll join West Virginia and every teacher is going to take a $20,000 pay cut tomorrow? What are we doing? What are we doing? I, I, I think it's so clear that if, if you want to be a leader in this community, and if you want to represent us in Annapolis, then do it. If you don't want to, then don't do it. Go somewhere else. Do something else. I was born here. I'm from Cumberland. I want this place to succeed more than anything. And, and, and doing these things, sending letters, putting things in the Baltimore Sun, what, what do you think that's going to do? How do you think the rest of the state's going to look on that? And I'll tell you, it's not good. It's not, they, they don't think it's funny, they don't think it's cute, and it's not going to happen. So that's the end of it. From my side, that's the end of it. And I don't want to hear any more about it, because it is a waste of time, and we have enough things to focus on. So gentlemen, with that, I, I feel free to, to lend any comments, but I think it is so ridiculous what was done this afternoon, and it's a disgrace to every single taxpayer in, the, in Western Maryland, Allegheny County, Garrett County. You can't tell the county commissioners? You can't tell the local government? Are we not impacted? Give me a break. I was equally uh, surprised uh, upon coming to the office this afternoon to find out about this issue. Uh, I thank Commissioner Shade for bringing it to everyone's attention and, and, and agree. Uh, I, I really, you know, I question the motive behind this also. Uh, but thank you for bringing that up tonight. It's Western Maryland, not West Virginia. Our next meeting's uh, November 4th, 2021. It'll be held in Allegheny County, Maryland. You sound like Newt Rockney there, Jake. <laughs>